everyone. Nice to see you all again. Today's going to be a quick video. I'm redoing Benjamin's tank today. It just needs a bit of a spritz up, but nothing more. I'm adding some different things into it, change it up a little bit for him. I don't move too much around because he does get quite stressed. I'll be taking you through what we're doing, and then just before I pop him back in, I will be showing you Benjamin. Okay? So to start off with, in Benjamin's viv, I have this underneath the coca. Un underneath the. Underneath the coconut fibre, I have forest bark from Bioactive Herbs. That's this stuff just here. Okay, and that has all the goodness in that all of the cleanup crew need to survive. Now, in here, there is some cleanup crew. I don't know if you want to see any at the moment. Um, let me see if I can find some for you. Oh, look, there, look, right at the very back. There's one of them. Making his way across. So that's to help Benjamin's with his um, cleanup. I don't have to do any clearing out of Benjamin's tank in reality if I don't want to. Whether I do like to top it up every now and then, change it around a bit, do different bits and pieces and that sort of thing. Benjamin is currently tucked away safe in a little tub next to me. Um, he's quite used to being in there. I get him out if I need to change anything around or anything like that. I have got some plants and some more cleanup crew on the way for Benjamin. Um, when I first set up his tank, he did have um, he did have live plants in here, but however, for some strange reason, I think because he was so active when I first got him, he basically crushed them and they all died. So I'm gonna put a few bits and pieces in. I'm gonna talk you along as I talk you through it as I go. Might change a few bits around, maybe change out like where his water ball goes and all that sort of thing. And yeah, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so this is our finished product. Um, I always try and make it so that Benjamin has enough room to climb because I do think he's more popular than the identity crisis because he does enjoy climbing. So we've got this massive branch coming along here and we have this branch along the back which sticks up up there. And then we have this piece of cork bark going across the back to join on from his hide and his other hide in the middle. And we have his water bowl over in the back corner. As I said, we will be getting some more plants in we're getting two plants coming in so one of them will be going in the back back there and i am quite excited whether the one's going to go yet maybe over there maybe we'll, we'll see so i think it might all be time for you to meet the boy um i will put a before and after picture up in the video as well so you can see the difference um i do like changing it around a bit because it's just enrichment for benjamin um i always find that when i've done a new setup for him he always seems to enjoy having a bit of an explore around if you have any questions about anything that i've used in here i will make a list in the description of where i got everything and what everything is and um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comments and i will show you benjamin hey big boy so the few of you that have met benjamin on pictures and things this is benjamin Benjamin is my nearly one year old ball python. I got him from a breeder down near Southampton, where I might live in the UK. Um, I did actually travel three and a bit hours to get Benjamin and he came all the way back in the car with me once I got his bib set up. Um, it wasn't one of those things where I was looking for a, ben a ball python like Benjamin. I didn't really have a favourite morph I was particularly looking out for. I very much thought it will be the sort of thing where the snake will pick me. And I have looked at one other ball python before Benjamin. I really liked him and I had put deposit on to hold him. Um, but then I saw Benjamin and I don't know what it was about him. I just fell in love with him straight away. Um, when I contacted Robert who bred him, shout out to Robert, um, he also had... Benjamin's sister who was out the same clutch as him 
available for sale as well um, and she was a bell I think um, blue eyed lipstick and she was gorgeous as well she was really lovely but there was just something about Benjamin he said that when I went to meet him he did say to me I warn you he's quite a nervous little snake he spends most of his time balled up don't be surprised if he won't uncoil for the first time and within a matter of minutes and he was out exploring I mean he was tiny compared to now he was literally two or three weeks old he was he literally fitted in the ball of my hand it was so adorable and as soon as he came out and started adventuring looking round and he came right up to me and he literally looked me straight in the eyes and then booked me on the end of his nose with his little schnoot. So at that point I was like, yes, this is the boy for me and I just adore him. He's mummy's boy, massively so. He's not the bravest in the world, he's a little bit of a baby, um, but he's very, very curious. He loves coming out with me and he thinks the dog is very amusing. He'll sit and stare at the dog for hours. If, if our dog comes in here, and Benjamin's out and um, not, not in his hide, he will actually just sit and stare at Bernie and it's hysterical. Bernie on dog is petrified of him and he's the eagle, so you know. Um, what else can I tell you? Benjamin is a pastel for my friend. His mother was a pastel and his dad was a mojo. Um, we did wonder if his colour would die down a little bit, um, but it seems to be getting stronger and stronger with every shed. Um, he did shed about a week ago, so his colours are particularly bright at the moment. Um, he's growing, as you can tell. Um, we did go through a period of Benjamin not eating when I first moved into this house. Um, he just decided, no, I don't want to eat anything. We think it was because he'd got to that certain weight um, and that sort of thing. But he's fine again, he's eating now. Religiously, every five days he sat there begging for food. <laughs> Um, I don't have a problem with him feeding now. He's, as you, as you can see, he's not exactly underweight. Um, he's never refused a meal since. So, now you can Benjamin, I'll give you a little bit of a close-up of him. Benjamin, you're not being very helpful, boy. Yes, that's the camera. <laughs> that is the camera. Yes, that is you on the camera. He's very amused by himself in the camera. He always has been so i'll show you his colors a little bit closer they're benjamin's colors you've seen benjamin schnoot so yeah we'll pop him back in and we'll pop the glass back in and we'll see what he thinks so here's here's for the moment of truth pop benjamin back into his home he's one of these things where as soon as i put him in yeah yeah not not interested in the slightest go back go back into your home Go back in, go back in, go in an adventure. So as you can see, he is quite, he is getting long. He's like, oh, mummy, I changed my home around. I am planning on doing like a little underground cave sort of thing. Uh, sort of like what I've done before in his bit. Um, so yeah, that's Ben around. We're just about to put the glass back in and then we will shut them up and leave them settle in for a little while. Thank you everybody for watching. As I said, I will leave a note in the description of everything that's in my viv. Um, and any information that you want to know about Benjamin or anything that you think I might have missed out, please let me know. Um, I do have a UVB bulb up the back as well just to help Benjamin out a little bit more. So yeah, give me a shout guys if you think I've missed anything and I'll by all means answer all your questions. Thanks guys, bye! Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button to always get our notifications.